Welcome to the College of Fellows Voices for the Future series. I'm Margaret Ann Hannon, a member of the College of Fellows, and with me today is Ellen Crane, APR, fellow PRSA, who was inducted into the college in 2021. Uh, thanks for joining me today, Ellen, and for being Thank part you. of this series. Ellen is currently serving as Secretary Treasurer of the College of Fellows in 2024. <clears throat> so Ellen, although you've only been involved for a few years in the college, you've been very active and thank you for your, for your service. Tell me, is there anything about the college that surprised you once you became, were induction, inducted? Well, that's actually a perfect segue because it's that involvement part that really surprised me. And I think I'm not alone in thinking that reaching the level of the College of Fellows is like a pinnacle of your career. And I think most people think, oh, great, I'm in the College of Fellows. Now I can rest on my laurels. I've achieved this great, you know, um, recognition. I don't have to do anything anymore. But the opposite is true. And then thanks to Greg Bailey enlightening me, he said, this is merely a new phase in your career, and it's an opportunity to give back based on your long experience. And I think that is what surprised me the most. And, and it makes me almost wish I had gotten involved in the college earlier in my career because the involvement has been so rewarding and I've met amazing people, all senior practitioners, and it's been really great. Can you share with us some of uh, those highlights of your career that perhaps you used on your application or maybe some things that uh, you have done since your induction that you would include, just to give others an idea of exemplary public relations practice? Well, I have to say overall that one of the most rewarding parts of going through what is an arduous process of applying to the college is it you're forced to create almost like a scrapbook of your career and recount things that maybe you've forgotten or you haven't really paid attention to in many years. So I found that very fulfilling that, that to kind of outline some of the achievements. Um, and let's see if I can actually remember one of the, one of the, my superpowers, I think are community partnerships and I've done many throughout my career. Um, for example, Canon, which um, at the time of, of being my cl client was called OSE in Boca Raton is a printing division of Canon now. And I met their head of marketing at a networking group. And she said to me, we print books at trade shows for free, you know, just to, to demonstrate our equipment. And we would really love to print something significant instead of just like reprinting a dictionary or something. And and, and of course, a light bulb went off on my head and I thought that's the most amazing gift you could give to the community. And I reached out to the local school district and to make a long story short, we ended up creating a summer workshop for middle school students who were interested in becoming published authors. And that program just took off like crazy today. It is a national program that Canon has adopted. It's called the future authors project. And it's been almost 15 years, I believe. And uh -huh. it's still going on to the point that at the 10th anniversary, we literally invited a student from the very first class back to speak, but she had become a published author. So that is just one example of the partnerships, you know, done throughout my career Fabulous. that I'm most proud of. That's very exciting. Uh, are you who is there anyone in your career, in your early days or even today, who you would point to as a mentor? Oh my goodness, so many. And I think that's one of the aspects of the College of Fellows I love the most is the focus on mentoring because the opportunity to give back and help students or young professionals like people help me is very exciting. And I, I can list so many and starting with somebody like Don Wright, who was in the second class of the College of Fellows. He was my first professor of public relations at the University of Georgia. 
1981, and we are still friends today. In fact, I invited him to come to the induction last year, and that's the first time I'd seen him in years. And Wonderful. he was, you know, a very, very important part of my career, throughout my career, not only as a professor, as a student, but he followed me my whole career. Frank Stansberry, um, I'm still in touch with my bosses from Alcoa, where I worked as my first job. So I cannot say enough about the importance of mentoring and having a team of people that support you throughout your career. What do you, what would you say is the most important thing that you learned from Don since he was your first professor and probably your first PR mentor? What's what what is what's that that nugget of gold that you gain from him? I I still remember a lecture that he gave to us his students where he talked about how being in public relations you had to learn more than a brain surgeon now that sounds kind of ridiculous at first but i think what he was trying to teach us is to be curious because you don't know how what industry you're going to end up in and as a public relations practitioner you need to be able to absorb new information learn it fast and communicate it clearly to your target audiences and that's true i mean i've worked in airlines, heavy metals, you know, healthcare, law firms. I mean, so many different industries in that lesson back when I was in college, just to learn and not be afraid to learn something new was probably the best advice I got. What's the advice that you most frequently give to people you mentor? Probably something similar and be a good writer. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> old foundational skill I think rings true today as much as it ever has even though you know in social media it tends to make us lazy and write in short clips and not use punctuation but <laughs> I say I, one of my mentors Virgil Scudder for example is a media trainer and he is to this day still my editor like I run everything by him to edit because he's a fierce editor so I think that learning how to write is like fundamental and step one in, into being effective in public relations. Great. Thank you. So is there anything else that we should talk about that we haven't talked about? Only that I think one of the, the golden nuggets for this series, the voices for the future, if, if young professionals are listening to this, is get your APR, become a member of the College of Fellows, not because you're going to make more or have a, get a promotion or get a great job because of it, but because it helps you grow as a professional. And I think that we should always push ourselves to grow, no matter where we are in our career, always. And the College of Fellows is a great challenge and as a result, a great achievement. And I encourage anybody to have that as an ultimate goal in their career. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you for being Thanks. with us today and for giving these wonderful insights to new professionals and existing professionals and potential uh, professionals. Uh, what What is the one thing that you would say in terms of um, why you went into public relations or what guides you in your work of public relations? Oh, the, the thrill of being able to communicate something complicated and learn new things. Those are my favorite parts, I think. Adult learning. Adult learning, yes. <laughs> and you, you've been my teacher in some of that adult learning, and I appreciate it greatly. <laughs> Thank you, and have a great rest of the day. Thank you.